Hey, how's it going guys? We're gonna do a character customization showcase, I guess. <clears throat> so, this is Lena Ver Inverse, and also the character that my name is based off of her attack. Uh, this character's freaking awesome, so I wanted to make her in Soul Calibur because she fits in the fantasy setting, yay! Okay, so let's just show off, um, I guess all the different things. Um, voice wise I just chose this one because it doesn't necessarily sound similar to her voice but it's kind of cocky like she is so it works I guess and I just used a regular headband because that's matches pretty well um, underwear hopefully won't see but eh, armor breaking we don't know what kind of underwear Lena wears uh, so yeah, I use this breastplate um, to, I guess, create that, like, like top half color she has. And then uh, the crop pants seem to look the most normal. Uh, she does have, like, another part yellow down there, but there's, like, no way to actually, like, change the color there. Uh, I tried using stickers, but I couldn't get it to not, like, stretch weird. So, I don't know, maybe someone else knows how to do it better than me. But... Anyways, here is the, um, just the little holster thing that she has. Then, uh, I used the Lord's Mantle Cape. Looks the best with these, uh, shoulder things. And then just some basic gloves. There isn't really a glove that fit too much better with the character. Uh, yeah. Then... Uh, socks doesn't matter and then uh, boots I just use the cuff boots and turn them white uh, accessories I don't know maybe I could put like uh, something there who knows it doesn't really make too much difference because it already looks pretty good uh, so I'm using Raphael with her right now because I think Raphael's sword looks the most kind of like hers but I don't know not really uh, there's no sword or style that really fits her very well because she mostly uses magic anyways. Uh, then we got, you know, just the colors. Took me a while to get the right color eyes. And the hair um, is more of an orangey-ish. Not quite orange, but I made it more red because it looks better. If it gets too orange like it is, it doesn't look right for some reason. Uh, just the way this game looks. It looks better especially in combat like when the lighting is zoomed out it looks a heck of a lot better red opposed to orange uh face stuff i didn't really do too much i just added a little bit of like makeup to make just a little bit of shading ish kind of thing so the face doesn't look bad um yeah, and so i just color colored it accordingly <laughs> Uh, let me show the color numbers that I use because this is like the more important part. Obviously, that's just the blackest you can go. Uh, underwear it didn't make a difference. Okay, so on the shirt, so 956 is the pink that I used. And then that's just white, white. This one I think I made a little. Yeah, I just used like one, so like it's slightly more grayish white but not really just to give it a little bit of a, a pop I guess I don't know if that changes then I use that 956 again and it's just black this I use kind of like a bronzy color. These I just turn them like more whitish. I could probably turn it black because that's like what our sword is, but yeah. And so black again. Uh, then we have like a kind of. I didn't want to make it pink also, 
Uh, it's not really supposed to be pink. It's not really supposed to be purple. But like if I make it too... Or it is supposed to be purple. My bad. And if I make it too purple, then it starts to like pop out too much. And doesn't look as good. Um, part of this is like anime setting versus like this fantasy art style it needs to be a different thing I just yeah so this one I use a red and then the boots um the color doesn't make that much difference or sorry the socks that was the socks my bad yeah this is just all white like it's all like the white color and then, let's see. Okay, I didn't use any stickers, but essentially what you can do is you can also, opposed to this breastplate, you can actually use a sticker, like a couple rectangular stickers. I think it just doesn't fit as well, but it does look a little more accurate. So it depends on whether you're trying to make the character like fit. So I'm trying to make more of an adaptation. And, uh, but you could also try to go for accuracy, and that's when you would start using stickers a lot. Um, and, yeah, for the sword, I just colored, like, the, this part red, and this probably should be red. Yeah, and, um, I think that's pretty much it, just named her, and, uh... I think I could do a mock battle, I can show off like the in combat real quick. And that should conclude it after I finish. Just I guess showing it a little bit. Yeah, the thing about Raphael, I was been using for tokens because it actually looks better with the style, but just for uh, like this no way way. I would use I would use Raphael. Because, um, Raviel doesn't really fit the style. Lena is definitely not a refined character. She definitely does not like to, um, relax or be kind of patient. And Raphael's like more of a, well, can't say for in game, but like for the, just like the style, it's definitely more, more patient style character where he has, um, he actually practices combat. <laughs> Lena just kind of goes ham, and the circles kind of just goes ham, so it works. But yeah, um, hopefully people like this video. I like making characters in Soul Calibur 5, so I'll probably do more of these. Um, and hoping for even better character customization in Soul Calibur 6. This one, for clothing wise, is pretty good. Facial uh, customization is like. Yeah, you only have like some faces to choose from. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and then um... I don't know, in the new one I wish they would like, get rid of this freaking clipping. Like, this clipping is ridiculous. Clipping is everywhere in here. But yeah. Alright, catch you guys later.